Okay, so our lesson for today is all about proving triangle congruence using SAS, ASA, SSS, and SAA. So we are on week 6, quarter 3. So before we proceed to our objectives, what do we meant by SAS? Yes, Ebina, no. Side angle, side ball. Okay. When we say SAS, ma'am, it is the side, angle, and then side. When we say angle, included side, included angle siya nung dalawang side natin. Okay po. Next, how about ASA? Yes, kya po? Angle, side, angle po. Okay. So, we have here angle, side, angle. So, the included part is what we call the side. How about the SSS? Yes, Eklon? Side, side, side. Okay. Um, this time po, three. Three pole side yung hinahanap natin. Next, how about the SAA? Yes, Galang. Galang na. Side, angle, angle po. Ayun, thank you na. So, this time po, ma'am, side, angle, angle. But yung side natin, ma'am, hindi siya included. Dapat po, nasa unahan siya or nasa hulihan. Hindi po siya nasa gitna. Okay po. So, let us proceed to our objective. So, our objective, prove two triangles are congruent using SAS, ASA, SSS and SAA. No? So, kailangan na daw po nating patunayan or i-prove na congruent yung dalawang triangle using this postulate and theorem. Okay po? So, this time, let us proceed to the review. Review muna tayo. First one is what we call the reflexive property of congruence. What do we mean by reflexive property of congruence? So, you can explain this or you can give your own example. Anyone po can give me when you say reflexive, ano ba yung reflexive, ma'am? Nakalimutan na. Yes, Ricardo, na. Yung letter po or number po, nagre-reflect din po sa kabilang number po. Katulad po ng 1 is congruent to 1 po. Okay, very good, Ricardo, na. Thank you. So, tama po yun. No, sana naalala pa kung ano yung reflexive. No, 1 is congruent to 1 or pwede rin angle A is congruent to angle A. No, bakit po hindi yata natatandaan ng iba? Tandaan nyo po itong reflexive kasi gamit na gamit to sa pag-prove. Okay po. So, I have here. So, ang example ni Ricardo ay number. And then, example ko naman ay angle. How about in triangle? How can we apply reflexive property of congruence in our triangle? Again, sabi niya, when we say reflexive, nagre-reflect ma'am kung ano yung nasa left, yung, din, yung nasa right. Or, pwede rin na magkapareho sila. Ano po? Si one nasa left, one din yung nasa right. Ano po? So, we have here triangle MAH at triangle TAH. Can you give me the reflexive property of congruence in this given triangle? Who can give me the congruent statement? Alin kaya dyan yung reflexive? Based on a triangle. Ano kaya yung pwede natin gamitin dyan na reflexive? Yes. Um, Herrera. Angle A is congruent to angle A. Okay, Herrera, um, nice idea po yun. No? Angle A is congruent to angle A. Kasi as you can see, these two triangles share common angle. No, meron silang common angle as well as common side. Meron din sila. But remember po, when you say angle, pag magkadikit ang dalawang triangle, hindi po pwede ang single letter na angle. No, laging sinasabi ni ma'am, dapat po, three letters angle. So pag ganun, ang mangyayari, angle M, A, H, at angle T, a, H. So, as you can see, hindi na sila reflexive, no? Kasi si M at si T, hindi naman sila magkapareho. Ano, again po, pag magkadikit ang triangle, bawal ang single letter na angle. Dapat po, three letters siya. So, another try po. Another reflexive. Sige po, tingin po ng reflexive na pwede natin gamitin dyan. Yes, Ebina. Ano po, side A, H is congruent to side A, H po. Very good, Ebina, no? Since Ebina, bigyan ko ng citation. Okay po. When we say reflexive property, ma'am, of congruence in the given triangle, we can use side AH is congruent to side AH. 
Kasi po, their share common side. Ano po, tingnan natin, remember, pag pinaghiwalay natin itong dalawang triangle na to, o oh, imagine, ito yung unang side ng triangle. Yung hiwalay ni ma'am, ito yung pangalawang triangle natin. So, una po, this is M. This is A. And then, this is H. Sa kabilang triangle naman po, this is T. Again, A ulit yung nasa taas natin. And then, H ulit yung nasa baba. Ano po? So, as you can see, meron silang parehong side, which is AH and then AH. So, if we use them, we have here side AH is congruent to side AH. What will be the reason? The reason is reflexive property of congruence. Ganyan po gagamitin ang reflexive. Ha? Tandaan po. Manalang, good morning. Muntik ng malit. Okay po. Next, how about the definition of midpoint? Ano ba yung definition of midpoint? Sige nga po, anyone? What is the definition of midpoint? Iba naman. Lagi na lang itong mga ito yung tumatas. Yes, launak. The point which divides the line segment into two equal parts. Okay, very good, Lau. Thank you. So, when we say a midpoint, it is a point that divides a line segment into two equal parts. No? So, pag nakarinig kayo ng midpoint, sabi daw po, this is a line segment and then may midpoint siya. No? Imagine na point yung ginuhit ni ma'am kasi ang hirap magpoint dito. No? So, when we say midpoint, it divides the line segment into two equal parts. So, ito daw part na to ay congruent dito sa part na to. No, kung yung kabila ay 5 cm, automatically yung kabila 5 cm din. Ano po? Dahil may point tayo, nagkakaroon tayo ng dalawang parts. For example, this is letter A. This is letter B. Sino na naman tong late na to? And then this is letter C. Ano po? Dahil si B ay midpoint, therefore si AB ay congruent kay CB. Ano po? Kasi hinati niya daw po sa dalawa. Okay po. The point, when we say definition of midpoint, it is the point which divides the line segment into two parts. So we have here, line segment AC. Sabi po, if B is the midpoint of segment or side AC, then ano po yung congruent statement na mabubuo natin? Alin kaya yung congruent dyan? Sige nga po, kaka-explain lang ni Ma'am kanina ha. Dahil may midpoint tayo na B, alin kaya yung congruent na parts dyan? Ano yung congruent statement natin? Hindi, tatawag ako ng iba naman. Paulit-ulit na yung tumataas. Parang sila na lang ng sila. Parang tulog pa yung iba. Parang natutulog pa yung iba. How about Venezuela, anak? Mom, if B is the midpoint of line AC, then line AB is congruent to line CB po. Ayun, very good, Valenzuela. No? Mom, nahihiya lang kasi akong sumagot, Valenzuela. Okay pa. So, sabi daw po, if B is the midpoint of AC, sabi kanina, when we say midpoint, hinahati, siya daw po yung point na naghahati sa line segment into two congruent parts or into two equal parts. So therefore, we have here, side BA is congruent to side BC or pwede rin yung side AB is congruent to side CB. Pwede balik ka rin yung letter. Ano po? So again po, pag nakakita kayo ng midpoint, ang ibig sabihin nun, hinati niya yung line segment sa dalawa. Pag hinati niya, so may mabubuo tayong isang congruent statement. Side BA is congruent to side BC. Tandaan po ha, Nagte-take notes kayo ng reflexive, ng definition of midpoint kasi gagamitin natin itong mga tumamaya. Okay po. Next, sana ay naintindihan kung ano ang reflexive at definition of midpoint. Next po, how about the vertical angle theorem? What is vertical angle theorem? Okay, iba naman po, lagi na lang itong mga to. Hmm. How about Gaspar? Na, what is vertical angle theorem? Gaspar. Wag pong umalis. Wag pong mag-left. 
sige, sino na lang itong sumagot? Baka natutulog pa. Oh, yes, Herrera, ulit na. Two angles in which the sides of one angle are opposite rays to the side, sides of the other angles. Ayun. Very good na. So, sabi daw natin, ayun daw po yung vertical angle ang tanatawag daw. No? Another definition of vertical angle is, ito daw po, vertical angles. Bago tayo pumunta sa vertical angle theorem, ano muna yung vertical angle? When you say vertical angles, it is pairs of opposite angles made by intersecting lines. Ano po? When you say intersecting lines, meron tayong two lines. Okay po, meron tayong two lines. Nag-intersect daw po sila, nag-met sila, nag-cross, and then, or nagtagpo, no? And then, pag daw po meron tayong two intersecting lines, meron tayong vertical angle. Ma'am, nasan yung vertical angle dyan? When you say vertical angle, yung isa nasa right, nasa left, yung isa naman ay nasa right. Sila yung tinatawag natin vertical angle. Remember po, no, when you say angle, it is the opening, yung buka ng angle yung tinutukoy natin. For example, ito yung angle. Ito yung tinutukoy natin dyan, no? yung opening niya. So, when you say vertical angle, isa sa left, isa sa right. Same thing po, another vertical angle ay yung isang nasa taas at isang nasa baba. Ayan po yung vertical angle. Okay po. So, according to vertical angle theorem, if two angles are vertical, then they are congruent. No? Pag nakakita po kayo ng vertical angle, automatically they are congruent. Ano? Congruent po sila or equal. Tingnan natin yung example dito. So we have here, ayun. So as you can see, two lines intersect at point G. So we have here line HF at line ED. Nag-intersect sila kay G. Can you identify what is the vertical angle in this figure? At yung congruent statement natin. Sige nga po, anyone can give me the congruent statement. Three letters ang gagamitin natin ha, na angle. Uy, iba naman kamay, lagi na lang itong mga to. Yes, galang na. Angle H, G, E po. It's congruent. Kanina siya congruent, galang. Angle D, G, F. Very good, galang. No? So, pag nakakita tayo ng ganitong vertical angle, we can say that angle H, G, e, ma'am, is congruent to angle D, G, F. Ano po? Nasaan yun, ma'am? Ito po siya, sinabi kanina ni ma'am, itong angle na to, congruent dito. Ano po? Very good, galang. Tandaan nyo po yan, ha? Pag nakakita kayo ng two lines, o two line segment na nag-intersect, vertical angles are congruent. Next, aside from sa binigay ni galang na angle, ano pa kaya yung vertical angle natin dito? Yes, Bautista, na. Angle EG, EGF is congruent to angle HGD. Okay po, thank you na, Bautista. Tama din po yun. So we have here, angle EGF is congruent to angle HGD. Ma'am, kasi vertical din sila. Isa sa taas, isa sa baba. Ano po, ito yon, Ito, at saka ito. Ang nauna niya lang yung nasa baba, pwede po yon sa baba and then sa taas. Naintindihan po ang vertical angle, ha? Sometimes po, hindi siya in a form of line. The triangle ang pinag-uusapan natin. Sometimes, ginagawa siyang close figure. Nakaganyan siya, nakaklose. So, triangle na siya. Ano po? So, ma'am, anong naging triangle? Ito po, oh, naging triangle na siya. Kinlose kasi siya. Same thing with this one. Ano, erase ni ma'am para mas malinaw. Ang may encounter nyo po ngayon ay nakaklose. Triangle po siya. But still, it is called a vertical angle, ha? Pag hinanap pa rin yung vertical angle natin. So, ang kukunin nyo pong vertical angle, yung nasa loob ng triangle. Huwag po yung nasa labas. In this case po, si angle HGE at si angle DGF, sila yung vertical angle na kailangan natin kasi sila yung nasa loob ng triangle. Ano, sometimes ganito naman yung ma-encounter ma nyo. Nakaganyan naman siya, nakatayo. So, ang kailangan natin vertical angle, pag ganyan, yung, yung sinabi ni Bautista, yung nasa taas at saka yung nasa baba na vertical angle. Ito naman yung kailangan natin. Okay po. Sana ay naiintindihan kung ano yung vertical angle theorem. 
Okay, next po. How about the definition of angle bisector? Anyone po can give me the definition of angle bisector? Yes, Lau. A ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Ayon, very good, Lau. When we say definition of angle bisector, it is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Sometimes po, hindi lang siya ray, no? Sometimes it is a line or pwede line. Okay po. So again, it is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Mama, ano bang ibig sabihin nun? No, when we say bisect, nagdi-divide siya. Sometimes hindi lang angle bisector. Sometimes segment bisector. Ano po? Pag angle bisector, angle yung hinati niya. Pag segment bisector, segment ang hinati niya. So for example, I have here an angle. Ito na yung angle, no? And then, meron ka daw angle bisector. Hinati daw po ito ni angle bisector. Dahil hinati siya, itong unang kalahate, congruent daw po siya dito sa pangalawa. Okay po. Ayun yung ibig sabihin ng definition of angle bisector. Okay po. So, let us have our example. As you can see, we have here angle AOC. Siya yung pinakamalaking angle. And then, meron daw po tayong ray. Ray OB bisects angle AOC. So, dinivide niya. Hinati niya si angle AOC. So, from this figure, can you give me the congruent statement? Ano kaya yung nabuo natin congruent statement nung nahate? Yes, Valera, anak. Angle AOB is congruent to angle COB. Ayun, very good, Valera. Ano, yung mga ganitong tinatanong ko, ha? two points to ng two points kasi medyo mahihirap yung mga sagot nila hanggang kanina pa. Okay po. Yung, okay, so we have here angle AOB is congruent to angle COB. Very good po. No? Sana naintindihan ng iba dahil hinati daw po yung malaking angle into two congruent parts. Itong angle na to, ay congruent dito sa kabilang angle na to. Dapat po ang mahalaga dito, alam nyo kung paano sila bigyan ng name ha. Angle AOB is congruent to angle COB. Okay po, sana naintindihan yung review natin. So this time, let us proceed to the SAS congruence postulate. Punta na tayo sa mga postulate, but still review pa rin po ito. No? Kasi na-discuss na dito ni ma'am nung week. Review ko lang para maalala po. So when we say SAS, Two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent respectively to the corresponding two sides and the included angle of another triangle. So, before tayo pumunta sa statement and reason sa two-column proof, dapat po um, alam nyo na kung paano mag-identify ng corresponding congruent parts. So, let us have our example. We have here triangle ROB and triangle NYA. Let us identify the corresponding congruent parts based on the markings. Mama, nung una natin hahanapin, sabi dito, since it SAS, so ang hahanapin muna natin is side. Based on the markings, what will be our first side? Yes, manalang, nak. Side R always congruent to side NA. Ayun, very good po. So we have here, side RO is, or side OR, pwede din, is congruent to side NA or AN. Again po ha, pwede yung sinabi ni manalang, baliktad yung R, tsaka O, dapat baliktad din sa kabila, N, tsaka A. Very good po, no, natatandaan pa. Next, after the side, is what we call the included angle. Um, can you give me the included angle? Yes, walog na. Angle O is congruent to angle A. Okay, very good na. We have here, angle O is congruent to angle A. No, kahit naka-flip yung triangle natin, alam pa rin nila kung ano yung congruent. Kasi based on the markings, ma. Next, how about yung side natin? Yes, Arceo na. Nakita ko ito ma si Arceo. Side O B is congruent to side Y. Ulit, side OB is congruent to side YA. Ang kapartner ni O ay si A. Baliktad yung YA mo, Arceo. Ulitin mo na. Side OB is congruent to A, side AY. Ayun, very good. No? So we have here, side OB is congruent to side AY. No? Huwag niyo pong pagbabalik na rin kasi mali po kayo. Magmamali yung angle natin. Since we already know that Um, the side angle sides are congruent. We can say the triangle ROB is congruent to triangle NAY by what 
postulate kaya po ito? Sige nga po, anyone? Paano natin nasabi na si triangle ROB ay congruent kay triangle NAY? By? Hello, hindi nakikinig yung iba. By? Yes, Eklonak. Bisex, bisex, SAS congruence postulate. By? Okay, na. wala nang bisex. No, na. The correct answer is by? SAS congruence postulate. Okay, Seklon, thank you, Nak. No, ganun po, ha, pag nakakita ng triangle, for example, na-prove na natin na congruent yung dalawang triangle, what is the reason? Bakit mo nasabi na congruent sila by SAS congruence postulate? Hindi lang po SAS, ha, pwede yung iba SSS, ASA, and so on. So now, let us proceed to our lesson. So given... So, example na natin. No, we have here, when we say proving, two column proof. We have the statement on the left side and then the reason on the right side. So, we have here given, side MA is congruent to side TA. Sabi nung iba, ito na naman ma, mag-solve na lang tayo. No, so, we have here, side MA, nasan si side MA? Ma'am, ito po si side MA. Congruent daw po siya kay side TA. Okay po. Next, si angle MAH. Again po, ang lagi nyo lang titignan na letter, yung nasa gitna, which is A. Nasaan si angle A? Ito po yun. Congruent daw po siya kay angle TAH. Ito ulit, si A ulit. Yung pangalawang A naman natin. Ito naman yun. So, kailangan daw po natin i-prove. Kailangan natin patunayan na si Triangle MAH, nasan si yun? Nasaan na yun? MAH, ito yung unang triangle natin, ay congruent kay triangle TAH. TAH, dito sa pangalawang triangle. Again po, magkadikit yung triangle natin. No? So, pwede silang paghiwalayin para mas madali nyong maintindihan pag magsasagot na kayo. Okay po. So, this time, let us have our statement and reason. Again po, when we say statement, ang lagi nating uunahin, tingin po kayo lagi sa given. Tignan nyo kung may nakasulat na given. Kung meron po, yun lagi yung mauuna nating statement. So, what will be our first statement for this one? Oh, yes, kaya po. Side MA is congruent to side DA po. Okay po. So, we have here side MA. Nasaan si Kya po? Kya po. Dami ng recitation na. So, we have here side MA is congruent to side TA. What will be the reason for this one? Saan to nakuha ni Kya po? Sige nga po. Saan niya to nakuha? Yes, Barbie. Na. So, may given po the side MA. Ayun. Ayun. Thank you, Nak. So, given, ma'am. Sa given na yan nakuha. Huwag po sa may given, ha? Given. Given. Given lang po. Okay, next. How about second statement? Again po, tingin po ulit sa given. Meron pa ba tayong given? Yes, derecho na. What will be our second statement? Angle MAH is congruent to angle TAH. Okay, thank you na. So we have here, angle MAH is congruent to angle TAH. Saan ito nakuha ni derecho? What will be our reason for this one? Yes, blanco na. Given po. Okay, given po ulit, ma'am, yun. Very good. Okay na, no? Nasulat na natin lahat ng given. This time po, for our statement number 3, tingin po ulit sa given, meron pa ba? Kung wala na po, wala nang given doon dahil wala nang given, tapos na tayo doon. Punta na tayo sa figure o punta na tayo doon sa drawing natin. Ano po? Tingin po sa drawing. Ano kaya yung pwede natin gamitin na congruent statement dyan? Sige nga po, tingin po sa drawing. Ano kaya yung pwedeng gamitin na congruent statement dyan? Tapos na tayo sa MATA, tapos na tayo sa angle MAH at angle TAH. Ano kaya yung pwede pa dyan na gamitin? Sige nga po. Um, tingin po. Yes, Arceo? Angle A is congruent to angle A. Okay po. Angle A is congruent to angle A. Nice idea din yun, no, na ano ni Arceo. Kasi ma'am, may markings siya, no. Yung iba kasi nalilito pa, no. When we say angle A is congruent to angle A, ito na yon nak, ha. Angle A is congruent to angle A. Three letters lang yung dinamit. Measurement, uh, angle A, angle MAH is congruent to angle TAH. Ayun na din po yun, pareho lang, no. Uh, aside from angle A and angle A, kasi naibigay na po yun. Another... O, oh, ano kaya yon? Sige nga, nasan kaya yung iba? Bakit ito lang yung tumataas? Yes, Brizuela, anak. Side AH is congruent to side AH. 
Ayun, very good, Briswell. Ano, the correct answer is side AH is congruent to side AH, ma'am. Dahil wala na tayo sa given, tingin ka na sa figure. Ano kaya yung pwede kong gamitin dito? Side AH is congruent to side AH. Very good, Briswell. Now, what is the reason for this one? Paano nalaman ni Briswell na congruent si AH at si AH? Yes, Mariani. Ah. Okay po. Ano na? Hindi ko pwedeng. Reflexive. Reflexive ano? Kompleto dapat. Kasi may equality, may congruence. Reflexive property of? Congruence, ma'am. Reflexive Ayun. property. Okay po. The correct answer is reflexive property of congruence. Ano po? Sana ay natandaan yung nireview kanina ni ma'am. So now, Nakahanap na tayo ng isang side. Ito yung side na yon, Isang angle, which is included angle. And then yung second side natin. This time po, our last statement, lagi po ha, tatandaan. Yung last statement natin, yung pinapaprove. Yung pinapa, yung kailangan nating patunayan. Ito yung last statement natin. So for number four statement, we have triangle. And AH is congruent to triangle TAH. O, paano mo na patunayan? Paano mo na sabi na congruent sila? Anyone, what will be the reason for this one? Um, yes. Ano pang mga bagong taas dito? Oh, yes. Ano, Herrera. Naklaw, mag-mute ka muna, Nak. Parang naka-on yata yung ano mo yun. Thank you, Nak. Herrera, what is the reason for this one? Triangle MAH is congruent to triangle TAH. What is the Ma reason? Ano? Side angle, side congruence, postulate po. Ayun, very good, Nak. So, the correct reason for this one is side angle, side congruence, postulate, Ma'am Herrera. Okay po. No, sana ay naintindihan ha. Sabi ng iba, ma'am, paano nalaman ni Herrera na side angle, side congruence postulate yan? Tingin ka po sa figure. Tingnan mo yung figure. Ano yung mga nahanap mong part for this one? Tingnan natin ha. Ano yung mga nahanap natin? Yung una, side. Nakakuha ka ng side. Yung pangalawa, nakakuha ka ng included angle. Yung nasa loob natin. And then yung pangatlo, nakakuha ka ulit ng isa pang side. So we have here side. Angle, side, congruence, postulate. Doon po titingin ha kung ano yung gagamitin natin. Kasi mamaya, halo-halo na sila sa learning task natin. Okay po? So, any question with the first example? Mukha namang wala. Ano po? So, this time, let us proceed to the ASA, congruence, postulate. We're done with the SAS. This time, ASA. Sabi po dito, Two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent respectively to the corresponding two angles and the included side of another triangle. So now, given triangle ROB and triangle YNA, sabi po ASA. So una natin nga hanapin angle followed by the side and then the angle. Can you give me the first congruent part? Sige po, ano yung una natin? Angle yung hinahanap ha. Ang dami pang hindi sumasagot dito. Sige. Yes, dadula na. Angle O is congruent to angle N. Very good, Nak. Buti pa to si dadula. Talagang humahabol siya. Dadula. Ang dami na ding recitation. So we have here, angle O is congruent to angle N, ma'am. Next po, how about the included side? For this one, oh, side naman. We're done with the angle. How about side? Yung pang hindi nakakasagot dito. Yan, si Arce, yun, nahabol din to. Wait lang ha, tingin pa ako sa baba. How about Gonzales, Nak? Can you give me the included side, Gonzales? Gonzales. Side knock. Tingnan mo yung may guhit dyan. Alin dyan yung may guhit? Tingnan mo. Ma'am, di naririnig po. Hindi po. Magsalita ka para marinig ni ma'am. 
Nagsasalita po ako. O sige, type mo na lang dyan yung sagot mo. What is your answer? Mamaya pala tatawagan ko talaga yung guardian mo. Tatanong ko kung anong problema sa microphone mo. Sige na. What is your answer, Gonzales? Sige. Hintay natin si Gonzales, ha? Para alam ko talagang nakikinig to. What will be our included side? Tingin ka dun sa figure natin, yung may guhit. Madali lang yan. Gonzales. Gonzales, ano na? R-O is congruent to N-Y. R-O-N-Y. Baligtad na. R-O, kanina congruent si R-O. Gonzales, baligtad yung N-Y mo. Nagsimula ka sa taas, dapat sa kabila din, sa taas ka magsisimula. O, go na. Gonzales ulit. R-O is congruent to N-Y ba, Gonzales? Y and po. Ayun. Very good, Nak. Wala talaga siyang microphone. So, we have here, pwede ang R-O is congruent to Y-N or pwede rin O-R is... Ayun. Oo, Nak. O-R is congruent to N-Y. Very good po, Nak. So, we have here the angle side. Next one, how about the angle pa? Sinong hindi pa dito nakakasagot? How about Ubaldo, Nak? Ubaldo. Ubaldo, pag hindi ka sumagot, dalawa na yung ex mo dito. Tama ko na lang, ma'am. Oh, yes, Borgos. Yan, si Borgos na lang. Yes, na. OB, OB is congruent to NA. Isa lang. Angle lang na ang hinahanap natin. Tingnan mo yung may markings ng dalawa dyan sa angle. When we say angle, yung parang half circle siya yung sign niya, Borgos. Nasa loob yung sign niya, yung markings niya, Burgos. Sige, wait lang sa mga nataas ng kamay ha. Iyaan natin makasagot yung mga to. Sayang kasi recitation. Oh, Burgos, no? sa ano? Ang angle mo. Wait lang po, ma'am. Kagaya nung nasa taas lang, yung sagot ni Dadula kanina, angle O is congruent to angle N. O, oh, ano yung sa'yo? Angel? Angel P is congruent to Angel Y. Angel, ano na? Again nga po, kanina siya, si Angel Y, kanina siya congruent. Angel B? Wala naman siya, R2 ano? Wala naman siya, R2 pa naman. R2 pa Ayun, o, oh, ulit na, Angel R? Angel R is congruent to Angel Y. Ayun. Very good, Borgo. So, we have here, angle R is congruent to angle Y. Okay po, no? So, this time, we have here, angle, side, angle. So, we can say that triangle ROB is congruent to triangle YNA by ASA congruence postulate. No? Pag ganito pang madali, sumagot na kayo ng sumagot, no? Well, pag two-column proof na tayo at natawag kayo ni ma'am, okay. Yung may sagot na kayo, hindi na kayo matatawag dito mamaya. No? Okay po. So, we have here, given, punta na ulit dito, angle EMR is congruent to angle CYR. Tingnan natin, nasan ba si EMR, ma'am? Ito si M. Ang titignan ng lagi, yung nasa gitnang letter, ha? EMR at saka CYR. Nasan si M? Ito si M, nasa taas, natakloban lang. And then si Y, ito naman siya nasa baba. Congruent daw po sila. Next, sabi dito, R is the midpoint of MY. Ano nga ba yun pag sinabing midpoint? Sabi nung iba. Pag sinabi pong midpoint, i-divide niya yung line segment into two equal parts. So sabi, si R daw po yung midpoint. Dahil midpoint siya, hinati niya tong line na to sa dalawa. Tandaan po ha kung ano yung hinati niya itong line na to. So ano kaya yung congruent statement na mapoform natin dyan mamaya. Another thing po is as you can see, intersecting lines sila. Two lines na nag-intersect. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. No? Then therefore, dahil nag-intersect sila, meron silang vertical angle. Okay po, mamaya gagawin natin yan. So let us start. Sabi dito, prove the triangle ERM. ERM, ito daw triangle na to, ay congruent kay triangle CRY. CRY, dito naman sa kabilang to. Kailangan natin patunayan na congruent sila. 
Okay po. So, what will be our first statement for this one? How about Lebanon? Lebanon, what will be our first statement? Angle EMR is congruent to angle CYR po. Okay. Thank you, What is your reason for that one, Lebanon? Given po, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Nak. So, ma'am, nakikinig naman po ako. Nahihiya lang ako sumagot. Okay po. EMR is congruent to angle CIR. CYR pala, sorry. So, reason, given. Uh, again po, saan nyo nakuha? Dito po ha, nakasulat. Tingin po lagi sa given. Next po, how about statement number two? How about Aquino? R is the midpoint of side MY. Okay, thank you, Nak. Aquino. So, we have here R is the midpoint of MY. What is your reason for this one, Aquino? Given po. Ayun. We have here, given, ma'am. Ano po, thank you. So, as you can see, sabi dito, makinig po ng mabuti, ha? Ito ay baka mali to yung iba. Ang lagi po nating hinahanap ay yung may congruent statement o yung may congruent symbol. This time po, si number 2, wala siyang congruent symbol, no? Sabi R is the midpoint of MY. Nasa na yun? Ito daw po si R, midpoint siya ni MY. M po itong nasa taas ha, natangga, natakluban lang nung ink tools ko. M yan. And then, therefore po, si number 3, yung statement number 3, manggagaling po siya kay number 2. No, mam bakit doon siya manggagaling? Kasi po, wala siyang congruent symbol. Ano? Sabi R is the midpoint of MY. Ano pong nangyayari pag si R ay midpoint na MY? Ano yung makububuo nating congruent statement galing diyan? Sige nga po, nasa review yan. Ha? R is the midpoint of MY. Ano pong mabubuong statement diyan? Yes, Valera na. Line MR is congruent to line R da Y. Ayun, very good, no? Thank you, Nak. Sabi daw po dito, dahil R is the midpoint of MY, ma'am, si number 3, doon natin siya makukuha, which is, it will become side MR, or pwedeng side RM, is congruent to side YR, or side RY. Ano po, pwede yun. Ulitin ni ma'am, ha? Ma'am, saan po yan nakuha ni Valera? Nakuha niya yan sa statement number 2. Dito niya yan nakuha, no? Sabi kasi ni statement number 2, R is the midpoint of MY. So therefore po, dahil midpoint siya, makakabuo ka ng congruent statement galing doon. Side MR is congruent to side YR. Tingnan niya yung figure ha, nasan si MR, nasan si YR. Tingnan po. Now, what will be the reason for this one? Anyone nga po, tas ang kamay. Uy, ano kayang reason dito? Tingnan natin kung paano malalaman ng iba. Sinong ko konti pa recitation dito? Oh, yes, Ricardo, nak. Mataas ka pala siya. Definition of midpoint po. Ayun, very good, nak. Ricardo. So, the correct answer, ma'am, is definition of midpoint. Sabi nung iba, ma'am, paano nalaman na definition of midpoint? Yan. Ulitin ni ma'am, no? Si number three, yung sagot ni Valera, saan siya nanggaling, no? Saan po siya nanggaling? Nanggaling siya kay number two. Sabi, R is the midpoint of MY. Now, saan mo kukunin yung reason niya? Kukunin mo kung saan siya nanggaling, which is nakalagay dito, midpoint. So, reason, definition of midpoint. Si number three statement nanggaling kay number two, kaya dapat yung reason mo galing din kay number two. Ano po? Sana ay masundan. Paano makukuha si number three nanggaling siya kay number two? Okay po. So, erase ni ma'am. Next po. Again, tingin sa given. For our statement number four, may given pa ba tayo? Wala na ma'am. Wala na tayong given. Dahil wala na tayong given, for our statement number four, tingin na po sa figure. Ano ko yan pwede kong gamitin sa figure? Sige nga po, tingin po dyan. Ano pong pwede kong gamitin sa figure? Yes, walog na. Angle ERM is congruent to angle CRY. Ayun, very good na. So, we have here, angle ERM, ma'am, is congruent to angle CRY. Nasa na yung kinuha ni Swalog? Ma'am, ito yon yung angle na to, at saka ito daw po kinuha niya. Now, what will be the reason for this one? Yes, Ebina. 
Definition of vertical angle po. Definition of vertical angle. Swalog ka niya. Okay po. Definition of vertical angle or what we called vertical angle theorem. Ano po? Ayan yon ha. Ma'am, bakit po nila yun nakuha? Kasi ayun yung review natin kanina. No? Pag nakakita ka ng reflexive, pwede mo yung gamitin. Pag nakakita ka ng vertical angle theorem, pwede mo din po yung gamitin. Okay po. So again po, ERM is congruent to angle CRY, reason for angle theorem. So, nakailan na tayo ma'am? Tingnan natin, isang congruent symbol, pangalawa, and then pangatlo. Lagi pong tandaan, tatlo lang yung kailangan natin, no? So, therefore, let us have our last statement. What will be our last statement? How about Muhi? Yung mga hindi pa nasagot dito. Muhi, what will be our last statement? Mm. Triangle EMR is congruent to triangle CYR. Ayun, thank you na. So, we have here, triangle ERM. Bakit EMR ang sayo? Triangle ERM is congruent to triangle CRY. Tandaan po, no, hindi nyo na kailangan baguhin. Lagi lang kay titingin sa proof. Ano yung nakalagay sa proof? Ayan yung laging nasa last statement natin, no? Kasi, ibig sabihin nun, no, napatunayan na natin. Now, what will be the reason for this one? Paano natin nasabi na congruent sila? How about Leiko? By angle, side angle, congruence, postulate po. Ayun. Very good enough. So, we have here, ma'am, triangle ERM and triangle CRY are congruent by ASA, congruence, postulate. Very good po. Lay ko. Okay. So, sana po ay naintindihan ha. Ulitin ni ma'am kung paano yung pagkakasunod-sunod. Unang lagi pong gagawin, tingin sa given. Sila lagi yung nasa unang statement natin, yung given. Next po, kung walang congruent symbol, doon siya manggagaling yung sunod na statement. And then, pag wala na pong given, tingin na po sa figure. Ayun naman yung sunod na statement natin, which is number four. Dahil nahanap mo na yung tatlong congruent symbol na hinahanap, ang sunod na po is yung proof. Lagay na po sa statement kasi napatunayan na natin. What is the reason? We have here, ASA congruence postulate. Ma'am, paano niya nalaman na ASA yan? Tingin ka sa figure. We have angle. Nakahanap ka ng isang side. And then nakahanap ka ulit ng angle. So we have here, ASA congruence postulate. Okay po. Next po, let us proceed to the SSS congruence postulate. Yan yung mga hindi pa nakakasagot. O, sumagot na kayo dito. Two triangles are congruent if the three sides of one triangle are congruent to the three sides of another triangle. Okay po, given triangle ROB and triangle YNA, let us identify the three corresponding sides. Sides ang tinatanong natin dito. Now, what will be our first side? How about Sarmiento na... Nak Sarmiento, based on the markings, identify the first side. Do tulog yoto si Sarmiento, di na sagot. Do Sarmiento, chat ko mami mo. Bakit po hindi na sagot si Sarmiento? Yes man alang. Side OR is congruent to side NY. Ayun, very good. So we have here, side OR or pwede rin side RO is congruent to side YN. No, pwede pong baliktad OR, NY. Next po, second side natin for this one. Yes, Blanco. Side RB is congruent to side YA. Okay po, we have your side RB is congruent to side YA. Next po, how about third side natin? Yes, Arceo? Side OB is congruent to side NA. Okay, thank you na. So, we have your side OB is congruent to side NA. Therefore, nahanap na po natin yung tatlong side. What will be our last statement? Yes, Agala? By SSS congruent supposed to live. Okay, nakbigay mo muna yung triangle. Triangle. Wala pang by, name yung triangle. By triangle O or B. 
is congruent to triangle NYA. ROB congruent to NYA. Parang baliktad na. Ulit, triangle ROB. Kanina siya congruent sa gala. Nagsagala ayo si mo, yung triangle mo. Triangle ROB is congruent to triangle YNA. Ayun, very good na. So we have a triangle ROB is congruent to triangle YNA according to Sagala. They are congruent by SSS congruence postulate. Yun po, no, halos nakasagot na lahat. Sa to ha, hindi ka pa nakakasagot. Given po ulit, punta na tayo sa two column proof. Sabi na iba, yun na naman ma'am. Okay po. So we have here, given side AR is congruent to side DR. Ma'am, nasan yun? Ito si AR, ito si DR. Madali lang to kasi side lang tayo. Side AC is congruent to side DC. AC, we have here DC. And then now, we need to prove. Kailangan na nating patunayan na si triangle ACR, nasan na yun? Sino yung kakadating lang? A, C, R is congruent to triangle D, C, R. D, C, R. Okay, ito daw po. No, yung dalawang triangle. As you can see, magkadikit ulit yung dalawang triangle natin. Okay po. So, what will be our first statement for this one? Sige nga po. What will... Yes, pasigas na. Side A, R is congruent to side D, R. Reason mo na. Given po. Okay, thank you. So, we have here side D, A, R is congruent to side D, R given, ma'am. Next, how about our second statement for this one? Yes, Barbie, knock. Side A is congruent to D, R. Reason mo, Barbie, knock. Given po. Ayun, thank you, knock, Barbie. Given, ma'am. Yes, hindi na kayo masisiro, no? Kasi laging may given. Okay po. Again, tingin sa given. Meron pa po tayong given. Ma'am, wala na po. Dahil wala nang given, this time, tingin ka na sa figure. Ano kayang pwede natin gamitin sa figure? Sige nga po. Yes, diretso, nak. Side RC is congruent to side RC po. Okay. So, we have here side RC is congruent to side RC or pwede ring side CR is congruent to side CR. What will be the reason for this one? Ano kayang reason dito ni Derecho? Yes, uh, Mariani. Ngayon. Okay, favorite to ni Mariani. We have here reflexive property of congruence. So, as you can see, this time po, nakatatlo na agad tayo. Ah, ganun ma'am. Pag nakatatlo na agad, okay na po yun. Yes po. What will be our last statement for this one? Yung iba, hindi talo na taos ng kamay. Laging ito na lang mga toong kausap. Nasa na kaya yun? Ano ko yung last statement natin for this one? How about Mendoza? Mendoza. Ako, naiikisan ko kayo dito. Ayaw niyong sumagot. Wala si Mendoza. How about De Castro? Triangle ACR is one you went to. Triangle DCR. Okay, thank you na. So, we have De Castro. Triangle ACR is congruent to triangle DCR. What will be the reason for this one? How about the dula ulit, Nak? Nak, ano kayang reason dito? The dula. Nak, ano kayang reason? Paano nasabing si triangle ACR ay congruent kay triangle DCR? Parang nawala si the dula. SSS congruent. Ayun, very good. Very good, Nak. So, we have here, SSS congruence postulate, ma'am. The doula. 
dadulad ang minaulit recitation no so we have here ma'am bakit nasabi ni dadulang sss yan no ito yung pangtatlo niya yung reflexive kanina bakit nasabi una po ang nahanap mo ay side pangalawa side ulit pangatlo side ulit so we can say that triangle acr is congruent to triangle dcr by sss congruence postulate very good po no next po last na to no last na sana ay naiintindihan na ng lahat ang dami na ditong may ex sa akin ha, Mendoza, Ubaldo, bakit ayaw niyo sumagot? Okay po. Next one is the SAA congruence theorem. Itama lang ni Ma'am ha, theorem pa lang ang SAA. Okay po. Two triangles are congruent if two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two angles and a non-included side of another triangle. So let us identify the side, angle, angle. So based on the markings ulit, your triangle TOP and triangle MAN. So based on the markings, let us identify the first corresponding congruent parts. Yung side muna, atin dyan yung congruent side natin. Congruent side natin for this one. Yes, laban nun na. Side TP po is congruent to side MN. Okay, thank you na. We have here side TP is congruent to side MN. Next, how about angle natin? Angle for this one. Yes, Agala. Angle O is congruent to angle A. Okay po, we have angle O is congruent to angle A. Nawala yung congruent symbol. Okay po. Next one, yung second angle natin. Yes, Bautista. Angle T is congruent to angle M. Okay po, we have here angle T is congruent to angle M. Bautista. Okay po. So, nawala na naman yung congruent symbol. Okay. So, this time po, na-identify na natin na congruent sila by SAA. Can you name these two triangle? Ano kaya ang name nitong two triangle natin? Can you give me the congruent statement for these two triangle? Yes, o Mendoza. Nak Mendoza, name man mo, bigyan mo ng name yung triangle natin. Triangle OTP is congruent to triangle AMN. OTP AMN. Okay po na. Mendoza. Yan, erase na yung X mo. Okay po. So we have here triangle OTP or pedering triangle TOP is congruent to triangle MAN by SAA congruence theorem. Ano po? Tandaan ha. Pwede siyang SAA or pwede rin siyang AAS. Kung sino yung nauna, kung nauna yung angle, angle, and then side, AAS po siya. Okay po, this time let us proceed to the two-column proof. O, last na ito ha. Now, again, given angle AER is congruent to angle ANR. Tignan natin. We have here E, yung nasa gitna nila. So, ito yun, pinapertains nila itong angle na to. Next, angle N, ang pinapertains nila itong angle na to. Next po, sabi dito, RA bisects angle ER. And again, when we say bisect, kung ano nga po yung bisect, uh, it divides the angle into two congruent angle. No, hinati niya daw po. Ma'am, nasaan po yun? Sige. So, we have here ERN. Nasaan si ERN ito? E, R, N. R yung nasa taas ha, hindi lang kita. Next po, binisect daw po siya ni R, A. Nasaan si R, A, ma'am? Ito po, hinati siya ni R, A. Now, nung nahati siya, alam natin na itong angle na to ay congruent dito. Mamaya po, gagawin natin yon ha. Okay po, again, tingin tayo sa given. What will be our first statement for this one? Kasi na yung iba, tumaas naman ng kamay. Yes, Brizuela. Angle AER is congruent to angle ANR. Reason na. Given po. Okay, we have your given. Next, tingin ulit sa given. Meron pa ba? What will be our next statement? How about Pasigas? Pasigas na. Ma'am. 
Side R A by sex angle angle E R N. Okay, reason na. Given po. Okay, thank you na. So we have your side R A by sex angle E R N reason given. Okay, po this time wala nang given, ma'am. Again po tignan natin. Now, si number one, mayon tayong congruent symbol. Okay, na yan. Next si number two, as you can see, R A by sex angle E R N. Ay nalipad yung Okay, by sec angle E R N. Ano po? So, wala tayong congruent symbol. So, therefore, si number 3 manggagaling kay number 2. Sabi si R A daw po, ito si R A, hinati niya daw ito si angle E R N. So, ano pong mangyayari? Anong congruent statement natin? What will be our next statement for number 3? How about sino pa yung hindi dito? How about Muhi? Muhi, nasan ka na? Ano yun, ma'am? Uh, what will be our third statement? Ano po, ma'am? Wait lang po, ma'am. Loading lang. Sige, hintayin lang natin si Muhi, ha? Ma'am, pas, ma'am. Hindi ko nakikinig. Naku, baka nag-ML ka na dyan mo eh, ha? Okay po. Next. Sige po, sinong gustong sumagot? Yes, galang na. Angle REA is congruent to angle RNA. Angle REA, RNA. Na, ang nasa gitna mo kanina, ang sabi mo ay R E A no. Nasaan ay R E A. So ibig sabihin ang pinepertains mong angle dito yung E kasi siya yung nasa gitna, no? Which is ito 'yon. Hindi ito yung hinati niya. Tsaka ito si N, hindi ito. Ang hinati niya is E R A. Ayun daw po. Ang hinati ni R A ay si angle E R N. No, 'yan yung hinati niya, yung malaki. O tingnan natin ano kaya yung tamang sagot dito. Another hands po, para naman magka-recitation. Yes, Lau. Angle A-R-E is congruent to angle A-R-N. Ayun, very good. No? So, we have here angle A-R-E is congruent to angle A-R-N. As you can see, ang nasa gitna nila is R. Ano po? So, ibig sabihin, it pertains to this angle. Ito yung nasa gitna niya, no? Pwede rin baliktad, no? Halimbawa, ang ginamit nila, angle E, nauna niya si E, R, A. Pwede po yan, no? As long as nasa gitna si R. Congruent kay, dapat baliktad din, N, R, A. Pwede po yan. Basta nasa gitna, dapat si letter R. Okay po. Now, nahanap na natin yon What will be the reason for this one? O, anong reason natin? Paano nalaman ni Lau na congruent sila? Paano niya nalaman? Yes, Valenzuela. Definition of angle bisector po. Very good na. So, the correct answer is definition of angle bisector. Sabi ng iba, ma'am, bakit po? Again po, si number 3, kailang siya kay number 2. Hinati daw po ni R, A, C, E, R, N. Therefore, yung reason natin dapat galing din dito kay number 2. Sabi dito, bisect. Binisect niya yung angle. So, therefore, definition of angle bisect po. No, logic talaga to. Tsaka reasoning. Next po. Now, nakadalawa na tayo. No? Tingin po sa given. Meron pa ba? Meron pa ba tayo sa given? Ma'am, wala na po. Wala na po sa given. Dahil wala na sa given, tingin ka na sa figure. No, kaya pwede natin gamitin sa figure? Yes, Ricaro? Side RA is congruent to side RA po. Okay, so we have here, side RA is congruent to side RA. What will be the reason for this one? Yes, derecho. Reflexive property of congruence po. Okay po, we have here, reflexive property of congruence. Again po, lagyan ni ma'am ng marking sa may angle kanina. Tignan po natin ha, angle. So, nakakuha tayo ng A. Next po, ang kinuha natin is second angle. Ito yung second angle natin. Nakakuha ulit tayo ng letter A. Next po, yung sabi ni... Ricardo, we have here side. So, nakakuha tayo ng S. Now, therefore, nakahanap na tayong 
two, three. What will be our last statement for this one? Sige po, yung hindi pa nagre-recitation, taas na ng kamay. What will be our last statement? Nakahanap na tayo ng tatlo. Wala talaga yung iba ayaw tumaas. No? Sayang naman. Yes, Eklon, nak. Triangle E. E A R is congruent. Triangle N A R is by S A A congruence property. Ayon, thank you, nak. So we have triangle E A R is congruent to triangle N A R by A A S theorem. Po na A A S congruence theorem. Ma'am, bakit AAS? So, nauna natin doon, angle, angle, and then side. Pwede rin naman pong SAA. Pareho lang po sila. Ano po? So, sana po ay naintindihan. Tingnan po ng mabuti bago tayo pumunta sa learning task. May tanong po? Wala. Wala Ayun, na po. Wala na po. Ay wala na po mong kasi hilong-hilo na po. Ano po? So, okay po. This time, let us proceed to your learning task. Complete the proof. O, may sagot na. No, ha? Hanapin nyo na lang yung mga nawawala. Given, MA is congruent to TH. And then, side MH ulit is congruent to side TA. Dapat to, ha? Correction. Mali po ito. Dapat ito, si MH ay congruent kay side TA. TA. Okay po. TA yan ha. Now, we need to prove that triangle MAT is congruent to triangle THM. Sige po, paki-screenshot. Ma'am, ano nga hanapin namin dyan? Yung mga blanko lang po. 1, 2, 3, 2 then si 3, and then si 4. Okay po, paki-screenshot po. Next po, number 2. May number 2 pa ha. Ito yung number 2 natin. Number 2. Ganun din po given, side EJ is congruent to side IJ. JR bisects angle EJI. EJI. Prove that triangle EJR is congruent to triangle IJR. Sige nga po. Again po, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ang hahanapin. Paki-screenshot po. So, huwag po muna mag-leave ha. Mag-check lang ako ng attendance. Mabilis lang po. Ma'am, pwede po pabalik dun sa number one? Hindi ko po na-picturean. Yes, nak. Sige, nak. Wait na. Okay, okay po. po. Ah, ayan, nak. Yung number one. Sige po, paki-screenshot po. Again po, ipopost ni mga Google Classroom and then mag-send na. Ano po? So, another reminder po. Ang dami pa rin wala. Ang dami pa rin pong... Ang dami pa rin pong hindi nagsasagot, no? No? 